Hey everyone, this is my trickster build for 3.19. I decided to go for Spectral Helix. I decided to level this up before my league started, which is a Marauder. Uh, on mini bosses like Al Hesman, as you can see, it goes pretty well. You'll see there's a lot of mods on this map. It is a tier 16. Tier 16 map bosses generally melt like nothing, but Al Hesman and the like, Eradicator, or so on, mini bosses, not bad at all. Minotaur, back in the old days, used to be tough. Not so bad with this build. Uh, you'll see this is quite an expensive build. Um, when you're running an actual boss, you know, end game boss, such as Eater of the Worlds, um, I'll show you here that it can be done deathless, um, but it's not like a super quick melt. This is not like a boss optimized build. This is a general all purpose build. It can do bosses, it can do mob clear. I imagine it could do pretty well in Delve. It can do heist. Um, it's an all purpose build. As you can see, deathless, Eater of the Worlds. I want to show here a tier 16, which I go ahead and make delirious. I go ahead and make it 40% um, delirious, or excuse me, 60% delirious, with random mods. Find a boss like Omniphobia, no problem. Because we're delirious, our damage output's a little bit lower, but it's still okay because of the defenses. It's still it's very good on defenses. It has a very high leech. It has a, a lot of life on hit. It also has life on kill. You could probably run 80% Delirious just fine. I find it um, not necessary to run 100% Delirious because it's just going to slow you down. It's actually faster to run 80% or 60% Delirious maps um, and just run a couple of them. But I just wanted to showcase this um, without have being sped up. Uh, it's a little bit like the Hammered In from D2. That's the playstyle. You throw your weapon around yourself. It's a claw. I'm going to get into the specifics soon. But you'll see, um, very rarely do we dip into our life. We essentially um, leech all the time because of the trickster ascendancy. The so mob clear just fine. In fact, arguably better than boss clear. Even though most bosses go down fine. Uber bosses might struggle a bit. I have a very high-end claw here. Viper helped me get... Um, and then I, I modified it just a little bit further. Tremendous amount of um, elemental damage tier 1s. You don't have to have tier 1s. I put Arrogance on my Haste and my Val Haste because I have an Aeol's Uprising, which gives us free haste. Gives us retaliation. And we're also going to use these gloves, which give us um, some extra auras when we kill rares. As well as an extra anointment. Belt could be upgraded, but this one has life and resist. It's pretty good. Gives us a little chaos resist. We have Onslaught Boots. We're doing a lot of Eldric influences, not so many um, Conqueror influences. Ice Golem Anomalous. Pretty good shield. Gives us some spell suppression. Discipline and Wrath. With everything, we run five auras simultaneously without dipping into our life. This is one of the few situations where we have a life and energy shield combo build. Uh, this ring's very helpful. Gives us the uh, curse on hit, Ellie Weakness, and less mana burn. Our body armor, huge evasion. You want lots of evasion rating because of our ascendancy. It gives us some ES as well. Also gives us some max resist. Some other nice um, implicits. Here's the general gym setup. Trinity, because we're running three different kind of Ellie damage. Our helm uh, uses Assassin Mark buff. It could also be a, a Spectral Helix buff. That's also fine. I happen to find that one. Flasks here. No armor flask. We have like 3% fizz reduction. Very low armor build. 99% spell suppression. High evasion. High leech. High recovery. Ascendancy. Here's how we get the extra buffs. Buff of our armor. Soul Drinker. Makes us leech all the time. Soul Drinker synergizes very well with our cluster. To get us um, fuel the might. Excuse me. Fuel the fight. Fuel, uh, feed the fury. Smite the weak. We have this here to give us better mana reservation so we can run 5 auras. Here we get a little bit of increased projectile speed. When we're leveling, we use increased projectile speed as a gem support. We get rid of that later. We get projectile speed here as well as here with long shot. It's not a waste to grab that. It does. Very helpful. Here's more projectile speed there. Pressure points and basics of pain because we're extremely high crit. We hit 98% crit if you include Assassin's Mark. Doesn't show here, but still, as you can see, high crit. Um, our movement skill is uh, very fast Whirling Blade. And then we do this mark on hit, so we don't have to think about casting it. We take a lot of mastery nodes because of the rest of our ascendancy. Utilizing polymath. The new polymath node. And then lastly, we use this here. One step ahead, it's basically a mix of temporal chains and tailwind. 